Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from this weekly contest, um, bi-weekly contest 96. So the first problem is minimum common value. And so we get two arrays, uh, num at one and num at two. They are already sorted in non-decreasing order, so increasing, um, uh, but it allows equal values. And we want to return the minimum common value between both arrays, right? Um, and if there is no common integer, um, between them, we want to um, return minus one. So pretty simple here. Um, um, and so there are actually two straightforward solutions we can do here. Um, sorry about that. The first one is we can just use set intersection, but this solution doesn't take of uh, uh, doesn't take advantage of the fact that the two numbers are sorted. Uh, but let's do that one first because it's the simplest one. So we just t convert the first one into a set the second one into a set as well and just take the intersection and to take um, the intersection of a set we just do end okay and what we want to do is just from that intersection we want the minimum value right and so this is literally the minimum of the common uh, elements between the two arrays now there is only one problem is what if there is no common value and we need to return minus one well in with min it's you could just say if or which basically well, whatever is here will be returned if this is empty. So if the, in let's actually make this super clear. So if we have intersection like this, um, then if this is empty, then this will be returned. Minus one will be returned. If you want, m want to make it really more readable, then you could do something like if intersection, return min intersection, right? You could do it like this. Um, and then otherwise they return minus one, right? This should work fine. Let's submit. So that works, but um, if you want to do it quickly, then it would be just take the min of this. And if this intersection is not available, then just use, is empty, then just use minus one. Uh, then just take the min of the list of minus one and that's just minus one, right? So this should work fine as well. Let's run it. Let's submit it. And that works, right? Um, the other alternative way of doing this is basically um, we can use two pointers. So we can have two pointers um, to i and j, um, and each of one of them is a pointer to one of the arrays. So let's say here what we'll need to do is i, uh, j, each of them starts at zero, right? Um, and we need the length of the two arrays. We are not told the arrays are equal. I um, so the arrays are not necessarily equal, right? And so, uh, are not necessarily equal in length, I mean. And so we need to have different length for each one of them, right? And then we just want to say while both are within bounds, right? Because once, once one of them is no longer within bounds, then we, we are guaranteed that we won't find common elements, right? Now, the first time we find a common element, that's because the two are sorted, that means that's the smallest one, right? So we can just return it immediately, right? Otherwise, how do we decide when to incre increment i and when to increment j? If the element at position i is smaller than the element at position j, right? So if this is the case, and we find that they are not equal because we got here, that means this one here will never find an element in nums2 that is going to be equal to, right? Because it's not equal to the smallest one at this, at position j, right? And so here we can increment i. Okay, I hope that was clear because let's say we have, uh, let me just clarify that more. Let's say we have three, four, five, and then we have here maybe six, uh, seven, eight. Um, and let's say maybe we have seven here. Just make this possible, okay? So when we are at this i and we are at this i, right? J is here. So this is nums1, this is nums2. So nums1, nums2 here. So 2 is smaller than 6, right? That means that since 6 is the smallest, is smaller than all the ones that come after it, that means we are guaranteed we won't find an element that is equal to 2, right? Because all, everything here is bigger than 6, and 2 is bigger than six, is smaller than 6. That means everything here is not going to be smaller than 6, so it won't be, we won't find anything equal to 2. So we are free to increment i, okay? 
Otherwise, it's the reverse. It's something like maybe let's say we have here six, seven, right? And then this is maybe one, two, right? Um, and maybe five, six, okay? So here we find that one, uh, six is bigger than one, right? So everything that comes here is bigger than six. And since one is smaller, that means as we go, we will only get bigger values. So we won't get a value that is equal to one. So we are free to uh, increment j. And so here we can increment j. Okay. And if at the end we, uh, we reach at the end of the one of the arrays and we haven't found any equal elements between them, then we can just say there is no equal element, right? Uh, because w there are no remaining elements to compare against, right? So we can return minus one. Um, okay, so now let's run this. Um, looks like there is a slight problem here. Um, yeah, sorry, I should return nums of 1i, okay? Uh, or nums of 2j, either one of them, because they are equal. Okay, so that looks good, let's submit. And that passes our test cases as well, right? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and consider uh, supporting me on Patreon and see you on the next one.